Hey guys, it's Little Z here, and today I'm going to be doing an OU session. This is actually using the team that I went over in my previous team building video. If you haven't seen that, look it up now, it'll give you a bit of insight into what I'm using today and why, and how I built the team. But anyway, if you guys could go ahead and like this video, that would be amazing, it'd make me a little bit moist, and <laughs> uh, let's just get straight into the battle. So yeah, I'm using some interesting stuff on this team. Scarf Magnazone, Defensive Garchomp, but it... Oh, a Chansey. Yuck. But what's he going to lead with? I'm thinking maybe Greninja. So I could go with Vaporeon, but then again, I can't do that much back. So... I don't know... I don't think Magnazone outspeeds, but he can't really do much to Magnazone, and he's going to go with Venusaur instead, so I'm just going to Volt Switch straight out of there. He's going to Mega Evolve, fairly obvious. Not many normal Venusaurs running around nowadays, but I do have the 8 speed EVs so that I can outspeed it with Togekiss and Air Slash, and he's going to go for a Hidden Power Fire, I'm guessing. So he either doesn't have synthesis or doesn't have sleep powder. And that means I can just... He does have sleep powder and he's running speed. Great. But that means he doesn't have synthesis so my own Mega Venusaur wins. And I can heal bail that sleep off later. That wasn't too important. Ow! Ow. I'm just going to synthesis straight up. Because I'll take less because I will become Mega. But that does quite a bit. And it looks like I will be able to spam him out unless he gets a crit. Ah, oh, can I live? I want to get into a range where I can live two. So one more synthesis should do it. Now I can start going for my own sludge bombs. And he's going to switch out into Chansey. Good play. Predicted when I was going to go for that move there. So I am just going to go. Oh, I don't want to take a T-Wave. Not all of them carry it, but... I really don't want to get T-Waved. I might go into Garchomp, because I can still do some decent damage and get up rocks. So he's just going to go for a Wish. This seems like as good a time as any to go for rocks. And because he didn't stay in and Toxic... Oh, he probably thinks I'm offensive. That'd be why. So, he's probably going to try and get his own rocks up now. But unless he's got Ice Punch, he can't really touch Togekiss. So I'm going to start trying to wake up. I can also defog if I need it. Because Weavile doesn't like taking hazards. Um, Air Slash or defog? I can switch it on the Aegislash later. Or the Garchomp and get my rocks up again. So, I'm just going to defog for now. And he has Ice Beam, not Ice Punch. But Swampert's special attack isn't the greatest. So, that doesn't really bother me. And he is going to go into Aegislash now. And I wake up and get a defog off. That is nice. And I think I'm just going to go straight into Garchomp. Hopefully he doesn't carry the Shadow Ball. And he's a Swords Dancing set. So that we can deal with. I might just roar? He might shadow sneak. I can easily live a shadow sneak. Uh, I'm just going to roar. So he does go for a shadow sneak and I get about the same amount of damage off on him because he's life orb. So that's pretty funny. And Vaporeon's a pretty solid switch into Greninja. Especially because Ice Beam is coming. So that was a pretty unlucky roar for me. Garchomp would have been better. Then I could have set up rocks again, but what are you going to do? <sighs> so once his Swampert's down, which I'll probably have to take out with Mega Venusaur, then he's got nothing to set up rocks, which is good. And... Yeah, that Physical Age Slash bothers me a whole lot less than, like, if it had Shadow Ball. Because Shadow Ball sort of shits on my Garchomp. 
I am fuzzy, fully physically defensive, as I showed in my video. Very good Talon Flame and Scissor counter. Ah, oh, come on, buddy! It isn't that hard to hit Ice Beam. He could have the U-turn, and he could. Then I wouldn't get Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin damage because I'd be into Vaporeon. That'd be bad. But chances are he's just gonna want to Ice Beam. He probably knows that I'm not offensive by now, so he'll know I'm not scarfed or anything. And he's he is just gonna go for the Ice Beam. Um, do I want to wish? I could heal up Garchomp again, assuming he's gonna go into his own Garchomp or Venusaur or Age Slash. None of them can really do much to my Garchomp. And he's got the Grass Knot, but I still take that like a champ. Easy. So that I don't really want to go into Garchomp now. Um, let's see. If he's got Grass Knot, he probably doesn't have extra sensory. So I could go into my Venusaur. Do I want to do that? I think I do. He's going to go for Ice Beam this turn. Ow! That's not even super effective, because I've got Thick Fat. So he's either going to want to Ice Beam again, or... Uh, either way, Giga Drain. Giga Drain will kill. It's a Greninja. And he does have the extra sensory. Damn it. But I'd live that quite quite easily. So I'm not in the worst position. I still am at 55%. And I'm just going to go into Durry Chomper here. The Garchomp. He's Life Orb. I don't care if he Sword Stances. I don't even care if he kills me. As long as I get enough damage so that Ice Shard or Knock Off or something will kill. Knock Off actually Okos. But there is the problem of killing... King's Shield. I think I'm going to Earthquake. Because he might think I'm going to Roar again. And then he'll die after that. No, he is going to Shadow Sneak again. And that is one dead Aegislash. I could have probably set up Rocks then. Because he would have killed himself after next turn. But there's always a chance that I can get a Wish into this Garchomp later. And if he's running speed on this, he'll probably outspeed me. Let's have a look. Uh, where's my... So what's Garchomp uninvested? 240. And this, let's say he's... He'd probably be modest. So yeah, he will outspeed if he's running full. <clears throat> and he can Giga Drain. But honestly, Garchomp... Apart from maybe checking his Garchomp, which Togekiss already does, and Swamp it, it's not that necessary. Weavile is definitely, definitely necessary for that Chansey only. But yeah, I might just let Garchomp die here. I might as well try and get the rocks up. He's going to Giga Drain. And what can we go into now? Let's see. Giga Drain won't even do that much to my Vaporeon. But I think I'm going to use this as a chance to synthesis with my Mega Venusaur. And unless he crits me, I can win this battle. Oh, I feel like a crit is coming though. I'm fishing. I've chucked, I've thrown my rod out for crits. But I don't even think a crit will kill me after this synthesis, so I'm going to start going for my sludge bombs. And because he is an HP investment, I should... Yeah, I do a lot more with mine. And 41% are uh, to synthesis or to... I don't want to eat a crit, but I do need the grass move for Swamp It. So I think I'm just going to synthesis again. And he switches out. That's great for me. That is perfect. And I don't want to get T-waved with Weavile, but what can he really do to Vaporeon? I'm just going to heal up with Vaporeon. Get a wish going. And he's going to wish himself. He's probably going to go into Venusaur. 
God damn it. If I can get a T-Wave off on it, I'm fairly sure I can live one sludge bomb. In fact, I'm almost certain I can live a sludge bomb. Then I could T-Wave and start air slashing. So I'm just going to double into Togekiss here. And he goes for a Toxic? Are you joking? Why? Why would he heal up? He only got like 20 health or something. Uh, that's bad for me. So I'm going to go back into Vaporeon here. Hopefully he doesn't pull a switch into Venusaur. But he probably will. Nope, he's going to go for the Wish. So should I Heal Bell or should I Wish? I think I'm going to Wish. Because chances are, yep, he's going to go into Mega Venusaur. Heal that up. Ugh, that's annoying. Mega Venusaur, not to be messed around with. Very, very bulky. And he's at full health, so... And I know a Giga Drain won't kill me, because I am fully specially defensive. So let's go for a Heal Bell. He's going to Sludge Bomb, predicting Togekiss. But it works out for me. And considering that did 29%, Giga Drain should be doing... Ooh, 40? No, 45. Around 45. So I can Scold, and then Wish next turn. Hope for a burn. Yeah, it should be doing around 45% with a Giga Drain. Actually, maybe I don't want to burn. Maybe I want a T Wave. I think I'm going to wish and pass one into Togekiss. That's a better play. Definitely. Because then I know I can live a Sludge Bomb. I'll get healed up to full, hopefully, or. A high enough health where I can live another sludge bomb, T wave, and then just air slash all the things. All the things. And he's taking a while here. That's okay. He's probably deciding whether to go for like a sludge bomb or a giga drain here. I don't think he'll want to go for another giga drain. There's so many things I could switch into to resist it, so. Hopefully he doesn't, because then my Vaporeon won't be on too low health. <sighs> Come on. But yeah, once Mega Venusaur's out of the way, I can see... Magnezone doesn't really do much for me, but... Weavile can do work. Not on Swampert, so I need my Mega Venusaur and my Weavile alive. Number one priorities.